part 12, square roots. You will find this on page 16 in the Namibian Mathematics Grade 8 textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Let's first go through the theory. Square roots. The square of a number is found by multiplying the number by itself. Recall that 4 times 4 is 4 to the power of 2 is equal to 16. This can also be shown as a diagram. A square of sides 4 cm has an area of 4 times 4, which is equal to 16 cm squared. The square root of a number is the number which, when multiplied by itself, gives the original number. In the diagram, if the square has an area of 16 cm squared, then the length of its side is the square root of 16, which is equal to 4 cm. We say that the square root of 16 is 4. The reverse operation of squaring a number is called finding the square root. I think this following diagram will help you. If I take 4 and I square 4, I will get 16. If I want to go back, reverse back to the 4, I will take the square root of 16 and that will be giving me an answer of 4. So square and the reverse will be square root. The numbers 0, 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, 36, 49, whose square roots are whole numbers, are called perfect squares or square numbers. The next example show how we can find the square root of a perfect square by using prime factorization. So we're not going to use a calculator. Let's look at example 10. Use prime factorization to find the square root of 5, 7, 6. Okay, first break it up into the product of prime factors. So just do prime factorization. Then I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So it's 2 to the power of 6. And I have 1, 2 times 3 to the power of 2. Now in method 1, I can break it up into equal pairs. So if I break that in 2, I will have 2 to the power of 3 times 3 times another 2 to the power of 3 times 3, which will be actually 2 to the power of 3 times 3, and it will be to the square. Okay, and then basically, I can just, as soon as I take the square, that 2 will divide by that 2 outside, and that will give me then just 2 to the power of 3 times 3, and that will be 8 times 3, which will be 24. If I do it with method 2, I also write it in index notation, but then I just take both indices and I say 6 divided by 2, 6 divided by 2, or 2 divided by 2, and I will get 2 to the power of 3 times 3, and the answer will be 24. I want you to try for me this example. Try now 10. Stop again the video. Do it, and as soon as you are finished, you can continue with the video. So if I ask you, find the square root of 6 to 5. So we're going to do it with prime factorization. So take 6 to 5 and break it up into prime factors. Now, it cannot divide by 2 because it's an odd number. Can it divide by 3? 5 plus 2 is 7 plus 6 is 13? No, cannot. So let's start with 5. And it's 1, 2, 5. Let's take again 5. And what will it be? 25. Let's take again 5. And what will it be? 5. And let's take again 5. And it will be 1. Now I prefer to do method 2. So basically... I'm just going to write in index notation, so it's going to be 5 to the power of 4. Remember, if it's a square root, this stands a little 2. So I'm just going to take 5, take this inside index, and divide it by the outside number. And then I will have 5 to the power of 2, and that's 5 times 5, so the answer will be 25, as easy as that. 